my bag. See, once you get the bug, you can't help it. Um, as I mentioned in my previous um, video, I recently acquired quite a few Susan Hill books, and that's just exactly what I wanted to show you, my Susan Hill collection. It is no means the biggest. I don't have all of her books, um, but um, I'm very happy with the ones I have. Um, I've recently acquired a great number of books. Great number. <laughs> um, so I couldn't, if I'm honest, put them all in a haul and show you because... I think we're probably talking close to, since my last video, 30 maybe? I'm not sure, but uh, we, I may do videos on the ones I've brought, but I can't remember which ones I've shown you, which ones are new. Yes, so we shall see. <laughs> anyway, so Susan Hill. Um, following on from my last video, I'll show you um, the one that I've already mentioned, which is The Small Hand, which I have two copies of. So the um, small happen. Uh, the small hand is about a man who stem stumbles across a derelict uh, Edwardian house, and he's compelled by curiosity to approach it. And when he does, he feels someone holding his hand. Yes. <laughs> so I read that and I loved it. That hence why I went out and bought more. The first Susan Hill book that I read, and I think. Um, and I don't mean to be rude, but I think that most people are probably familiar with is The Woman in Black. And this was bought for me for a Secret Santa present um, a couple of years ago now. And I I loved it. I think it is such a good book. Um, I've seen the film, the Holly, 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 Hollywood remake film. I haven't seen the original. I haven't seen the stage play. So I wasn't a fan of the Hollywood film. Um, I, I did like some of the ambience in it. Um I think that was very reminiscent of the book, um, but other than that, I wasn't a huge fan, but I felt that the ambience and the darkness was, the tone matched um, how the book felt, so yes, um, I do like this. If you don't know what it is, it's about a young, um, is he, he's a junior solicitor, so he's, he's young-ish, and he goes to a house of a lady that's recently passed away to go through her files, to bring her to sort through it, and well, Things go wrong from there once he gets to Eel Marsh. Still on my dance. Okay, so the next book that I have brought is non-fiction, and it's a memoir, and it is How It's End is on the Landing by Susan Hill, and I'm so excited to get this book, and um, I found it in a charity shop. Most of my books are. Um, and I'm hoping to use this a little bit for a blueprint for myself, because um, one autumn afternoon, in pursuit of an elusive book on her shelves, Susan Hill encountered dozens of others that she had never read or had forgotten she owned. So she spends a year going through her bookshelves. I personally am too much of a consumer and I have a very addictive personality to stop to do that. But I'm going to try for three months at least to see if I can, you know, not buy any new books. How many times have you heard that? So I'm really excited to read it. Um... I know this is going to sound silly, but I do assume it is the same Susan Hill. Because I know there is crime books by Susan Hill. I assume, again, that's the same Susan Hill. Could have Googled it before this video. Very lazy. Do let me know. So, very excited. The next one I bought was I'm the King of the Castle by Susan Hill. And this is a Penguin's Decade um, edition. And it's lovely. So, uh, what's this about? Uh, it tells the story of two boys forced to live together by their widowed parents. It is a chilling betrayal of childhood cruelty and persecution of parental blindness and of our own ambivalence to what we are supposed to, what is supposed to be the happiest days of our lives. I applaud the booktubers that know what it means, what the book's about off the back. I would like, i just read that. So yes, um, I'm, I am looking forward to this one. Um, I was ultimately looking for more of her gothic um because i love gothic i'm very interested in gothic um i try to write gothic um but uh it still it still may have gothic elements um but i'm very excited to read it it has it will probably be in october um i don't make a habit of um saving my 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 darker books for october i i read them all year round but my tbr is already really full and that's before the mass influx of books that I bought recently, including Susan Hills. So um, this is what I pull my um, books out of. So come October, I think I am just going to dedicate some time to um, my actual horror, thriller, 
thriller? No, horror, gothic, ghost, that sort of thing. What's not wrong with thriller? I realised my face sounds like thriller. I love thrillers. Okay, the next we have is The Man in the Picture. And this one, I don't know what this is about. I'm not going to lie. Uh, a mysterious depiction of a mask reveller at the Venice Carnival hangs in the college rooms of Olivia Oliver's oh dear, old professor at Cambridge. Da, 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 da. Staring into the painting is to play dangerously with unseen demons to become victim of its macabre beauty. So, yeah, that's all. And apparently it was on uh, Book of the Week Radio so far, so that's good. And this was a... Um, this was a... Library book, and it was withdrawn. That's a shame. Last checked out in 2016. So, it's so cute. And then next, I have The Travelling Bag and Other Stories. And I also have Dolly in the same edition. <laughs> I'm very excited. Um, they both appear brand new, except Dolly smells of cigar smoke. Or fag smoke. And um, cigarette smoke, sorry. Um, the Travelling Bag looks brand new, so... They match. Um, right, Dolly. Well, Dolly's about a creepy doll. Yep. And the traveling bag. I don't, I don't know. I just brought them because they're Susan Hill. And then lastly, I was so stoked about this because I brought I brought them all from the same website. And this one came brand new. Like no one's read it. It's uh, the uh, the mist in the mirror. A ghost story. All I needed. All I needed. Um, so, yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, apparently it's about a boy that starts haunting someone. I'll take it. Um, but mostly, look at that. Oh, no! I said to myself, I was like, oh, my God, it's, like, brand new. But it's, it's like, so, there you go. Missed the mirror. So, that is my current Susan Hill collection. And I am super stoked for it. I'm hoping to um, buy some more, but not for a while. <laughs> Um, if I buy any new books, they have to be brand new on one a month, unfortunately. That's the task I've set myself, so we'll see. So if you you see any haul videos, you'll know it's my older books. So that is all today. I'm going to leave you because I want to cook dinner. But uh, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon.